All right. Well, I've had plenty of time to uh, experience the uh, the new XP50 Thermion. Um, certainly have killed um, plenty of coyotes with it now to, uh, I believe, be able to talk about it, talk about my experience with it, what I like and what I don't like. Um, so, might be wondering right off the bat, Um, why does this fella have a $5,000 scope that looks like it's got dirt and mud on it? Well, that answer's simple. Because the gun fell off my tripod when I was walking out to the field not too long ago. And I thought I was going to cry and, you know, was certain, <laughs> certain that I just lost zero. Well, I didn't lose zero because I killed a dog right there on that stand. And I'm gonna tell you what, the Bobro QD mount, 30 millimeter, that joker is the baddest mount that I have ever owned in my life. Um, I, it, my zero did not budge. And when I say this, this gun fell off the tripod, I mean, it, it fell right on top of that scope. And this is a heavy gun. This is a Creedmoor uh, suppressor, battery pack, silence code radius, PRS stock. Yeah, this is a heavy gun. Um, so, moving forward, recommend a 30 millimeter Bobro QD mount if you're gonna mount this stuff. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So moving forward, um, the Thermion. You know, this is the new and improved trail, if you will, uh, Pulsar Trail, if you're familiar with those. Um, not much difference between the trails. They do look a little bit better, picture quality. Um, Pulsar did. Um, they changed us. Uh, some things up with the display compared to the trails um, and I, I'm pretty sure that's that's all that they state that they um, <laughs> they change but I mean if you compare it to a trail uh, the contrast uh, background contrast it, it looks different and it looks it looks a lot better um, but you know coming from a FLIR 536 which was a native four power you know, I, I was a little nervous at first uh, going with an XP50 because the you know the native on it, it's it's low. It's like two. It's like a two power. Um, so I, I was concerned about it a little bit, but not that concerned because I know that you know this unit also has picture in picture mode, um, which if you've seen my videos, you you, you see that there is. You know two screens going on and I can set the magnification on the picture-in-picture -picture display um, to anything that I want I think that's huge for coyotes I mean I think that is absolutely huge yeah I, I don't I don't know why other manufacturers aren't doing something similar to that but I can't stress enough that that is amazing. It, if you're going for runners, you're going to want a wide field of view. I mean, that, that I don't know what else to say to that. If you're if you got you know a double coming in, you got a triple coming in. You you may you know you may need a little magnification because you got one in the back that's hanging up. As soon as you blast him, you're gonna have to go for your runners. You're gonna want your wide field of view. Um, I don't know. I love it. That that is probably the biggest selling point for me. All the media features, um, you know, it record video, it records audio. Um, it it you download an app to your phone. And I mean, within within seconds, you you're, you're putting your video 
on your phone to show all your buddies before you even make it back to the truck. Very nice. Um, now, one of the biggest concerns that people have is with, you know, the, 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 the power uh, supply. You know, these take um, their own proprietary batteries, APS2s. They're like $100 a piece. Now, you may say, you know, oh my God, that's ridiculous. Um, the battery life on these, you know, if you're running, you know, balls out, video running, the automatic, automatic nuke process running, you're going to get about an hour and a half. Now, I was a little bummed out, you know, but once this dies, the it, it go it it changes over to a separate battery source. This has a built-in battery as well, um, and you, you'll get about three four hours off off the onboard battery. Um, but even then, you know I'm still kind of bummed out. Well, I, I don't know what the big deal is, to be honest with you, because you you just plug up an external to it. Take that off. You got a micro USB port here. You know, battery pack here, and just you know run external like that. And if it's if it's already you know dead or whatever, it it'll run the unit um, at the at the same time it's also charging the unit so that's that's pretty sweet um, it comes with you know a, a flip up lens cap I know that's I know that you know sounds kinda like small and elementary like well who cares I mean yeah five thousand dollars better come with a flip up cap well <laughs> most most units don't come with that I, I don't I, I don't know why um, but pretty, pretty nice. It's cool that they do that. Um, I do have a throw lever installed on the unit. Uh, this actually, this isn't standard. This comes from, uh, Apex 3D Solutions, I believe the name is. I paid like, I don't know, 20 something dollars for it or something like that. That's sweet. I love that thing. Um, highly impressed with, uh, their work. Uh, I've bought a couple of things from them, but um, let's turn this thing around. So the top one is, is your battery. The other side that I just flipped over, that's obviously your micro USB port. Um, this this one here is this one doesn't come off. This is how you do your menus. You got a, you got a dial. You press it in. Um, you know, I really like that. Um, I, I wish I could. I wish it was a little bit more um, stiff. I wish it, it was had a little bit more friction in there because uh, it, it does spin pretty easy. I know that when I'm going through menu and stuff like that, I'm, I'm always scrolling past what I need. And when I go to hit enter, um, sometimes I'll bump it and kind of roll it a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's kind of aggravating. But that, that is a little complaint that I have about it. Obviously, that's pretty minor. But um, now, one complaint, a real complaint that I do have is this thing here. It has an automatic nuke process. If you're not familiar with 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 nukes, um, you know when when the when the core temperature of a unit is different than its temperature in the environment, let's say ambient temperature, um, the picture quality tends to you know be not really optimal and you're subject to pixelation and, and things like that. So the uh, thermal units, they have to recalibrate. 
and when they were as temperature changes between ambient air and core temperature of the unit it's going to continuously recalibrate until you know this is somewhere on par of the same temperature as the ambient air this thing nukes like crazy i mean it's like it's constant nuke is one of uh, the biggest power drains on a unit in terms of you know pulling you know most amperage um so it does it, it, it will drain the battery if it's if it's just ridiculously doing it i mean not only that um, it has done it when, you know, I'm in the middle of shooting something. You know, that, that that's kind of, that's a big one. I don't like that. Well, luckily though, they give you the option in settings to, I can simply turn the nuke process off altogether or I can go into a semi-nuke, uh, a semi-automatic uh, nuke process, which it, it or semi-manual. All I gotta do is just press, press a button up here and it will nuke it for me so unless I press that button it's not nuking um, so I thought they kind of saved the day on that um, you know if, if they weren't gonna give you an option of that like FLIR units and stuff like that um, that that I don't know I might have I don't know that might be going back to the shop I might be sending that back um, so overall I mean, those are really the only complaint, two complaints that I have. Um, it's, it's a, I mean, it's an outstanding unit. It, I, it really is for the price range. I can't, I, if I were to sell you a unit, if you came to me and asked me um, for advice, you said, hey, Matt, I'm looking to step up to thermal. Um, what's out there you know I'm, I, I, I'm not looking for you know anything crazy uh, but I, I want something functional I want it to look nice well since FLIR thermal site units and all that they're not selling to the public and all that what does that leave you with I mean really in terms of you know let's say 5,000 and below well you got Pulsar trail units, which they discontinued them, but I mean, you, obviously, you can find use, you know, trails. You know, this is a 640 resolution unit. It's nice and crisp. You know, you can go with, you know, XMs, uh, Thermion XM units, which are 320 resolution. They don't look as good. Um, but, I mean, I've hunted with 320 resolution for years. I, I have no problem with it at all. And that's not a big deal um, but in terms of manufacturers go I, I I can't think of one I can't think I can't think I can't think of any manufacturers out there other than Pulsar that would be in you know the medium to entry level thermal scope range that I would recommend I don't recommend ATN products um, I do not. I, I just. I just don't. I, I've had terrible experiences um, with them. I've had terrible experiences with their customer service. We don't sell them. Now, um, I, I, I would. I would try my hardest to put you on a Thermion, whether it's an XP, you know, which re this one XP50 retails right around five grand, you know, or the XM the XM Thermians uh, which I believe retail I think you can pick them up for uh, right around I don't know upper upper three thousands somewhere around there if you were to step up from this you know I don't I don't know what's what you would go to other than Envision Halos LRs or Trigicons, and even Trigicon, I, 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 you're not, you're not going to be 
super impressed by the differences of performance and picture quality between this and a full-blown Trijicon Mark III hunt. And that is the God's honest truth. It is better uh, when you're not having to deal with terrible humidity conditions and weather conditions, but if we're in the dead balls of winter, and yeah, I mean, I, I would I would absolutely suspect Envision Halo LRs and Trijicon Mark III hunters to, you know, outperform a $5,000 scope. It better, you know, but I, I would not put a Reap IR uh, 35 millimeter over this. I've ran one. It's it's a good unit. It's fine. I do not mind it one bit. No picture in picture mode. Um, when the humidity starts kicking in, in in the warmer months, this thing handles humidity very well. Okay. I do not believe Trijicons handle humidity very well. Envision Halo LRs cut through humidity like a like a beast. I mean, they just rip right through it. Um, this is, I mean, this is a good all-around unit. I'm going to be on this for a long time. Um, so, you know, that's my thought process behind this. This is my opinion, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, shoot, leave me a comment. Um, if you want to check them out, you can go to our website, notvisionoutfitters.com. And um, we'll wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, hope y'all learned something and maybe cleared some air up with some uh, questions. But all right, thank you very much for watching.